what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you are tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview. And who do we have in the building today? The Gladiator. I'll be out. Y'all know what's up. Jersey, what up, though? Yes, yeah. we got I'll be out in the building. Welcome home. Thank, thank, you, thank you for thank coming. You. It's good to have you. I mean, you already you hit the ground running. Yeah, like go for a minute, literally back with the jump off. You're mm. doing your thing, <laughs> and we love to see it. How does it feel to be back home? It feel good. I'm loving it. If I feel good that I'm ha I'm back home. Everybody that love me, they happy I'm back home. Mm -hmm. But I'm loving that like the 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 feedback I'm getting from the world, you mm -hmm, feel me? They fucking mm -hmm. with me, you know what I'm saying? Heavy. It's I like, mean, yeah. that's nothing new because nah. the numbers speak for itself. Yeah. But I think, you know, just seeing the feedback that you've been getting, the love that you've been getting, like just the way that everybody's been receiving you since yeah. you've been back is like yeah. really something. I'm loving it. And I have to give you your flowers because not for nothing, you've been working, but the fact that you have a project coming out yeah, yeah, and you yeah. just got back, yeah. that is really crazy. Free to real. Free to real. Out. Coming out literally in a couple no. hours. Yeah, I mean, sure. So we uh, right in front of it, y'all. So we gonna get into all of that. But for the people that have been living under a rock that don't know who I'll be out is, uh -huh. let me know a little bit about you. Like, you, I know you from Jersey City, but mm -hmm. like, just walk us through your story. I'm just a real nigga with a story that's trying to tell it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Um, I got, I got, I, I've been through some shit in my life. Like, mm -hmm. I've been through real shit in my life. And and I got a way of expressing it through my music. Mm -hmm. So like coming up, coming up from where I'm from, from Marion Projects, that's one of the most dangerous projects in Jersey. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm one of them guys from there. I ain't just I ain't just one of the motherfuckers that was peeking out the window. Mm -hmm. Like I'm really like a big op out there. I'm really like the head honcho out there. Like you know what I mean? Op, if you, you will. feel me, king op out there. You <laughs> feel me? So like they like everybody know what I've been through and what I come from. You feel me? So I just I'm just I just came from the bottom with this shit and and now I'm here. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. like it's it's so it's so like coming from where I'm from, nobody make it. I'm I'm literally probably the first person to make it out out from my out my city, out my projects and the first millionaire in my projects. That's big. It's crazy, you feel That's me? That's big. Heard up. So it's like I, don't, I I be I, every time I think about this shit, that's why I'm freezing up. Don't think I'm fucking up because I don't know what to say. I be freezing no, up because I get excited. It's like in my body, I'm like, yo, I can't believe when I say that shit. When I be like, oh, millionaire, mm -hmm. that shit feel crazy. Like yo, this shit, like what? Yeah, and I you know, know I mean? you had to grind to get there, and that's really yeah. a big accomplishment. Not only to be the first millionaire, I don't know if you are in your family, yeah, but yeah. that's already right a big accomplishment in itself. But to be the first one from where you from, that's just as big. Yeah. So. How was this the vision? Like, did you see this for yourself? Hell yeah, I seen this shit. You did? Hell yeah, it was my time. I I, I knew. I'm like, yo, I got a, I got a book that I, I carry around. It's in my book bag right there, mm -hmm. and it's a book in there, and it says it like it's like it's like it's basically speaking shit to existence, and it say multi-millionaire your first six months home you feel me mm. so i already knew i was gonna be a millionaire as soon as i came home but it was like your first six months home you're gonna be multi wow you feel me so it's like i manifest everything that shit is real you just gotta say what you like words is serious mm -hmm. so if you put that shit in the atmosphere the power of the tongue it's, it's crazy you yep. know what i mean so you guys you gotta say what you mean and mean what you say because that shit is strong you know? mm -hmm. so I know that you are the son of Albie Al. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, Lord, the yeah. Lord, the Lord. You feel me? Yes. He the, he the Lord, I'm the gladiator. You feel me? I hear that. And you see, we're going to yeah. get into the gladiator thing right after yeah. this. So do you feel like that kind of contributed to you wanting to get into music? Or was that something that naturally kind of like happened? How do you think that was there influence there at all? You know what's scary about this shit? Because I was so young. And my father was was a rapper, but mm -hmm. I didn't know my father because I he, he died when I was so young. Mm -hmm. And for me to pick up on it, it would you could tell it's genetic, you right? And I mean? that's what that's what I was wondering if that was because I didn't know my pops was, was a rapper. Eating. I was a kid, but I mm -hmm. always loved hip hop, mm -hmm. so I get it from him. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So my pops was a legend, a, a, a OG legend from my um my my city or whatever. You feel me? He ran with Dougie Fresh, Biz Marquis, and um mm -hmm. he ran with all of them guys. So. Yeah, sweet, slick, and sly, we know. Yeah, oh, wow, you did your homework. Hello. You know, you know my pops. Hello, hello, My pops hello. is the goat, man. My pops is the goat, man. I respect them, man. You know what I mean? I used to deal with a lot a lot of hate from, like, 
fighting for my pops because I'm just like, why you die on me? You feel me? Because it was rough growing up without a father. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I never really was like rocking with my, like, but, but I know it ain't his fault now as I get older, but it was just still like, like, why you leave me type shit? You right. feel me? That shit turned me into something. Like, because I don't know if it made me strong or it made me weak. Honestly, like, I don't know. Not having a father made me strong, or I don't know if it made me weak. You feel mm -hmm. me? But it's parts of me like, damn, I wish I had a pops. And you know, you know what? I was gonna ask you about that as well because I grew up without a father as well, and yeah. I know that, uh, like, for a woman, a lot of times, you know, people are very quick to say like, "Oh, women without fathers, this, this, and that." But I'm wondering, like, as a man growing up without a father, and you know, you close to the streets, you know, how was that, or do you feel like it affected the way that you grew up? Yeah, most definitely, you know? man. Because like, not having a father. That shit took a toll on me because I'm not used to it. But I always had an older brother. Mm, and my older okay. brother, he he was on my body like he was my pops. Like, mm -hmm. he protected me like he was my pops. That's important. And I having a father made him grow up fast. So he hit the streets way before me. Mm -hmm. And he was just, like, in the streets. And he was just, like, trying to keep me away from the streets. But I just had to get in the streets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, he, he was in denial. My older brother was in denial that I was in the streets. Like, man, you know, your little brother, he just robbed, like, the whole block over there. Like, my little brother ain't into that shit. Crazy. <laughs> oh, you just robbed somebody? Nah, I ain't do that shit. I told you my little brother ain't do that shit. Uh -huh. I just shook that shit <laughs> down, like, though. You I mean, I like, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you feel like that, though, is, like, a product of your environment? Yeah. Do you feel like if you were somewhere else that maybe, like, the way that you grew up would have been different? Yeah. Or... Because, like, like, Marion Projects, Jersey City, period, mm -hmm. it raised gladiators. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you... you, you, you like, say if it's a, it's a kid from the city that's in the youth house, he goes to the youth house all the time. Mm -hmm. Even if you not, you if you've never been in the youth house, the way he talk about the youth house, it make you want to go to the youth house. Mm. That's crazy. So it's like you want to put a record on you from the door. It's like, mm -hmm. like, hold on, all my friends in the youth house, why ain't in there? So mm -hmm. now you do some wild shit to go to the youth house and be smiling like, all right, send me to jail. Uh -uh. You know what I mean? It's crazy <laughs> like that. I swear, just like that. Like all, like all my little bros from my hood, like, if somebody catch a body or something, one of my little bros want to catch the body and, and, and up his score. Like, nah, I want, I'm going to shoot him more times. It's wow. Kind of, like, it's, so, it's so now, you know, from an older perspective, yeah. you know, and now you back home and everything, how do you feel like, or do you feel like there's any way to kind of change that narrative? Because as much as it's like, you know, I understand it. That's just the way the hood works, you yeah. know. But is there anything that you feel like is within your power to kind of speak to them or like to kind of... I know one thing about changing it is that you ain't going to be able to save everybody. This is true. You know what I'm saying? But somebody going to catch the message. Mm -hmm. It's going to be somebody watching this interview and be like, like, it's going to be people looking like, man, fuck him, man. Like, whatever. He 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 done made it and ain't look back. But there's going to some people that's going to look at it like, damn, he, that's how you supposed to do it. You know it's what I mean? Inspiration. You feel me? Because it's the the plan is to make it out. Right. It's not to be strapped. Like you mm -hmm. got to break the curse. You got to get out of there. So it's so many people that's gonna be watching it, but it's gonna be people that ain't gonna get the message. Mm -hmm. And the ones that do get the message, we we connect it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The ones who don't get the message, they just gonna be the lost ones. You feel me? I mean, I hear that. And now oh, something bro. that you said was um, success is nothing without pain first. You yeah. said that in one of your interviews and. I'm interested in knowing, like, how how did your pain help build up your success? What was it about that? Because, like, I feel like if you if you was born into royalty, if you was born into this, just living large, mm -hmm. you know nothing about the struggle. You know nothing about the pain. You ain't never been through shit. Like, a quick story, right? Um, I was locked up before when I was locked up for a murder case or whatever, right? My last murder case. So I was locked up for that. I'm locked up with this guy. He never did a crime in his life, but he was on the same tail with us because he was locked up for a vehicle and homicide. Wow. So he ran somebody over because mm -hmm. he went to a game. He went to the Jets game. And he was drinking in the bar and he gets in the car and he kills somebody. White man. Mm -hmm. Never killed nobody. Never. He, he wouldn't hurt nobody. He'd been living with this. He'd been married this high school sweetheart. All that shit, right? Mm -hmm. This is who he rocking with. So check it. He ends up leaving the bar, drunk, ran somebody over. First crime he ever committed in his life. You could tell he ain't he out of place. What you doing in here? What you locked up for? So he, everybody finds out what he locked up for. Right. Now, he never been through this type of shit before. So it's fucking him up. Now his wife, she leaves him. Oh, shit. Now he, 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 he was old head, 40 years old. He was 40 years old, been with this girl for 20 years. He'd have been mm -hmm. with her for the rest of his life. And she would and he'd have thought she was the right one. But just because he went to jail, he had to put her through that shit. And now you see, like, damn, I'm about to spend the rest of my life with this girl. And she just left me. 
you know. You know, that's crazy. I, Sometimes I, you gotta go do shit. You feel me? That's what I'm, that's my message. Sometimes you gotta go do shit in the real yeah. life. You got, you know what I mean? See, I, I receive what you said, a hundred percent. I get the message. But do you really think it's that crazy? How much time was he facing? Do you know? Do you remember? I think vehicular homicide because it was an accident, murder. I think he probably facing like ten. See, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I, will, I will get in your ass. Let's go. Ah, uh, you on. see it. Me being married, he got kids I don't with know. this girl married 10 years. 10 years, but it's like 10 years without I've been with you husband. since high school. Oh, you did say high school, sweetheart. I've been, I didn't you just did meet say you. That. You did say high school, sweetheart, but that's a tough decision to make. I don't think that that's crazy. But he was, if he were never drunk and got drunk and hit somebody, he was yeah, been with that I, girl for the rest of his I life, like thinking that she the girl. 100% agree. Understood. But I feel like. You know, you also have to think about how that's affecting her. You know, she's now a single mother unexpectedly for 10 years. Like there's there's only but so much contact you can have and support you can have with your husband. I mean, that's a lot. Shout that's not for everybody. He didn't get the 10 years. He was facing 10 years. He ended up getting five with the 85. That's 50 months. OK, you see five. But I she feel still like as she... a high. You see. Yeah, she did leave him. I wonder if they back together. You Listen, let me explain together? something to you about Jill, right? <laughs> let me explain something to you about Jill, right? Uh-huh. Because I see where you're going with this. you like, man, 10 years, woo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 10 years is... Listen, it, one thing about Jill is that you got to have a friendship with a person mm -hmm. in order to do the bid. You got to be my friend. Be my dog. Because I want you to be there for support. It's like if I'm on life support, you feel mm -hmm. me? You gonna come see me while I'm in the hospital? I'm being in a coma. You go, it's like you coming to see me. Mm -hmm. You coming to visit me? You know what I mean? Bringing me flowers, whatever, whatever. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Don't turn your don't you ain't gonna turn your back on me. No, and this is why I'm saying that's I used to fuck with a nigga that was in jail. So I get it. Uh -huh. I, Do you I, get it? Listen, the securest calls, the putting money on I listen, did the all that. Ten years though? Not ten and that's why I said. You ain't something. gotta you ain't gotta be my girl for I ten years. I'm not telling like, you don't fuck. All I'm telling you, be my dog for ten years. But that's you. But they was married. So she's not fucking. She's not like getting that support. She's not getting that kind and for that to happen, like without you even being able to prepare it's for that self-discipline that's a lot no it ain't even without the sex involved i feel like that's a lot for you to one day wake up and you no longer have access to your husband you have kids right you have bills so you pay. replace them and find somebody else i'm sure it didn't happen right away it but was probably just because something it should have never happened with. because at the end of the day if i was still there you would still love me I, it's, it's like i would have went the rest of my life thinking you the one for me when you really weren't so do you feel like her not being with him makes her love him any less Hell because yeah. she wasn't because you, because if you can't, if, you, if you're not, not there with me that. at my lowest moments, you shouldn't be there with me at my brightest. Yes, that's very true. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like everybody's not built to like withstand that. That's, that's a I'm that's a big change. That's why to success make. is nothing without paying first. All right, you got to put up through this shit. You got to go do this shit. What you got to put me through ten years without you to know and, that I love no, if you? No, that, that's what happened. If me and you rocking, mm -hmm. imagine I was in a car with you. Why well, I'm in a car with you and, shit, and, and I hit somebody by mistake. Mm -hmm. You still got to go to jail for it. You going to leave me? You know I didn't mean to do it? Listen. Ride with me. Listen, as much as I would want to and I would try <laughs> to, I wholeheartedly would try to. A hundred percent. But I just feel like after a certain point, 10 years is just a lot. And a nigga, but I, a even if it ain't. but you, And then it's one of those things, because think about it too, not even to cut you off, but you know, you live in your life, maybe after year five, you meet somebody mm -hmm. and you know, you still want to stay committed to your husband. I'm a firm believer before you cheat, leave me. So you never even know. Maybe she met somebody who was help, help, willing to help pay the bills, take care of the kids. And she was like, you know, before I start a whole new life, let me just end things where they are. Everybody can't take that. And this is not taken away from what it, you it, said because I get it. I said that in the song. I said, it's hard being a real bitch. If it was easy, everyone Oh, would do it. damn, she not a real bitch. Yeah, oh, hell damn. no. She, you got to revoke that because oh, you were just with me. You were just living this. life with me. And then something happened where you can't. Mm -hmm. So it ain't about, I. Right, what you going to have sex? You going to fall for a nigga? It ain't about that. Pick that phone up. Holla at me. Be my friend. Be my dog. Yeah. Now, how you forget the friendship? We just got married. I really thought you was the love of my life. I was ready to spend the rest of my life with you. And some a hiccup happened. And you ain't and you mean to tell me just because I went to jail, you ain't gonna rock with me? That's a big hiccup. Shit, all right, so if your ass hit somebody too, because you, you know females drive crazy. I'm gonna leave your <laughs> no, ass too. It, it's just funny because it's me. You're saying yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You feel me? I mean, you know, as much as I would want my husband to stay with me, it's like I would be, I'd be like, yo, fuck you, nigga. Like, you not a real nigga if you can't stay with me. But I would understand. Cause I'm not saying you ain't supposed crazy. to understand, but it's just like, like damn. I feel like a little three. 
as my husband. <laughs> okay. Maybe even five. A little three piece. Okay. Yeah. I just feel like our kids are grown now. You know, everything changed. But you know, no, we not. giving them too much airtime. So shout out to them. Yeah, free him, man. He home now. Free. Though. Oh, oh, okay. That's yeah, what I was gonna say. Yeah. I thought he, okay, he home now. But you better not be you know, back with that. No, you better not be back with her. I remember her name and everything. I ain't gonna say it though. I mean, I if y'all are back, sis, get your man back. I, I feel you. Nah, I see hell no. It. I kind of see where you come. <laughs> that bitch, but she, I, she no good. <laughs> oh my god. So how do you feel? Because in the vein of like you know success being, I mean, pain being necessary for success. How do you feel about the artists who kind of like fake their pain just <laughs> to like? Put on and put out an image to make it seem like they kind of like went through shit. How do you feel about that? Oh, don't, don't say who. I don't know. I don't, I don't. You don't know who. You never seen anybody like putting on. There's niggas that be talking about being from the trenches and having no money and being broken. They teachers told them that they wouldn't be shit. Mind you, they living in nice ass houses, yeah. went to private school. Don't say yeah. You know that. I ain't pay attention to that. That's detail. You know that. I'm. It's LBI you interview. We could name drop and I don't give a fuck. Listen. That's Brianna crazy. Imani not name dropping nobody. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but if you don't got no no opinion on that, then you don't got no opinion. I'm just surprised that that's not something I'm saying, that you... But if, if, if it is a fact, how I feel about that, it's, uh -huh. just, it's just weird as hell. I guess it's fake until you make it, right? That's what niggas do nowadays. But ain't no faking in my shit. You know what? And that's something like yesterday at your dinner, mm -hmm. that was something that I could definitely tell about you. Just based on the way that you just got up there and you was talking and telling your story, saying where you from, yeah. what you about... There was no room, I felt like, for there to be any cap in anything that you're saying. Because okay. it's just so matter of fact, the way that you talk, the way that you talk about yourself, your yeah. story, the people that you are around, yeah. your come up. It's like, there was literally no room for me to even be like, mm, this nigga not really about what he say he about. It was just yeah. like, that just wasn't a thought in my mind. All right. So, I really wanted to know what your thoughts were on the niggas that be doing that. But I, since... I, 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 I know, just gave you my opinion. You it's, did. It's weirdo shit. It's, it's, a world, it's a world full of weirdos. We outnumbered. You know that. It's weirdo shit. So if you some weird ass nigga acting like you from somewhere or acting like you been through some shit mm -hmm. and you ain't really been through some shit and you got a little platform and you lit now, mm -hmm. you're a weirdo. You a fuck nigga. We ain't into that. We on, we on real nigga time. You feel me? If you, if you came from somewhere and you ain't from there, if you came from... The burbs rap that shit. So what? The fuck you talking about? It's, it's, it's a way. It's rappers that rap like that, and they from the burbs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you who? got people that 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 embrace that Drake. Drake don't run around acting like he's some killer. I feel like Drake really didn't have a choice because he was on the grassy. We knew we we knew. But, but like, he embraced who he is. Drake Drake Drake. And it's Drake. I respect Drake honestly. Drake don't be like, oh, I'm some super killing ass nigga, but I'm riding with these super killing ass niggas. They gonna right. care about me. You know right. I, mean? I respect that. And you know what? I respect it too. You know what? I think that sometimes that's where it comes from. Yeah. Like, I feel like you have niggas that grew up in the suburbs, but they be with the niggas that grew up in the trenches, so then they take on their stories yeah, as if it's like their that's, own. That's a lot of motherfuckers I think that that's shit. exactly that's what why that I, is. I, I, I take. I take, I don't like that shit. Because it's like, I know for a fact, like, I'm not one of them niggas that was looking out my window. Like, even if you grew up in the hood. You know, mm -hmm. some people, it's because you grew up in the hood don't mean you hood. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of motherfuckers that walk the other way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. A lot of people just look out their window and see, like, you, you could live on a dangerous block. But that don't mean you really your op because you probably ain't with the shit. Right. Niggas get passes to niggas all the time. Like, he ain't from that block. He from that block, but he ain't with the shit. Leave mm -hmm. that nigga alone. Mm -hmm. But a nigga like me, like... I'm in, I'm I'm hands on with this shit. Mm -hmm. Like like niggas know every time it was a war or some shit, nigga. Yeah, that Albie. was in, that was in the past. Yeah, in the past. Yeah, I'm a change man. I'm changing man. But I'm just saying, like they know Albie was hands on with this shit at mm -hmm. all times. Frontline every 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 situation. You feel mm -hmm. me? I ain't never back down. You know what I mean? But yeah. right. So if you had like a choice between like going back and like redoing everything that you've done leading up to this point. Or just kind of like being in control of everywhere, everything that happens to you moving forward. Which one would you choose? Damn, that's a good question. If I could control my past? It's like if you could go back and redo everything. Or if you could control what happens moving forward. Damn, which it's, one would you my do? mind floating right now. There's so much shit I can say. So I'm going I'm to I'm choose wisely. Mm -hmm. I'm going to choose wisely. <laughs> if I could... If I could I would have I would have listened to my brother. My brother passed and he always told me he always told me like niggas hate us, bro. Niggas don't fuck with us. Don't fuck with them. And when I came home my last time, I was fucking with motherfuckers that I know ain't fuck with me. Mm -hmm. But I was just like 
fuck it, I'm gonna I'm 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 help you out too. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, hoping that my loyalty, my honor, my real shit can rub off on you, mm -hmm. and you could. You know what I mean? But that I fucked up. That real shit don't rub off on uh, me. I was hoping. Take it, take it, it's take my it. fault for thinking the motherfucker is real as me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When niggas ain't as real as me, you feel yeah. me? You can't put niggas on that same pedestal. You can't expect. You from, out of other niggas. You can't. Nah, you you got to treat everybody at face value and take what they give to you. Yeah, no doubt. So, but if you had to choose one though, so you, so that's something that you would, you know, take from the past and carry with you now or yeah. you would fix. But if you had to pick one or the other, would you, are you saying you would rather go back? Yeah, I would definitely. I wish life had a rewind button. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things I could fix. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even though it made me who I am today, right? I need to fix that back then. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of broken relationships that I wish I could have rekindled. Mm -hmm. A lot of conversations I had that I wish I, I wish I could have had. Like one of my closest friends died, and me and him wasn't talking. You feel me? While I was locked up, mm -hmm. we 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 could have squashed that shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And that shit fucked me up. Like damn, like. He dead now, you feel me? We can't even have that conversation that we needed to have. We dealing with pride. Mm -hmm. We couldn't even... Man, that shit fucked me up. Up. I'm sorry to hear that, but, you know, he's here yeah. with you, Most and I'm definitely. sure that he, he knows. Most definitely. Um, so, on a lighter note, you know, you started making your music. Who were your, like, inspirations when you started making your music? When I started making my music? Mm-hmm. Um, inspiration? I always fucked with... Always fuck with that gritty, grimy shit like Styles P. Okay. Um, I came up off that. I came up off the Styles P. I came up off the Wayne, the Hot Boy era. My mm -hmm. dumb, like, I fuck with that. I fuck with Jeezy. I fuck with Beanie Siegel. Like, them oh, motherfuckers. You see, these are names we haven't really gotten on yeah, here. Yeah, okay. you feel me? Yeah, you know. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, so I always fuck with that. Like, I come from that Lil Wayne drought era. That motherfucking no ceilings, Lil Wayne. You mm -hmm, feel me? Mm -hmm. I fuck with Wayne. He the goat. Okay, and like now, who you fucking with? Like from Jersey, anybody? Nah, no. I ain't gonna do my state like that though. But niggas coming up, I, I got, I gotta get in tune and see what's going on. I've been mm -hmm. hearing motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. I've been hearing motherfuckers going putting on. Shout out to everybody from Jersey that's putting on. But like, I fuck with everybody from Jersey. You know what I mean? But right now, I ain't really. I've been focused on me. So I don't want to make it seem like oh a pole on some you know I'm a king of Jersey so I can't be doing it like it ain't nothing uh, like it ain't nothing going dang. on in Jersey it's a lot of shit going on in Jersey uh -huh. it's just that I'm focused on me because I realize if I, if I don't put myself first it's never gonna work you know what I'm saying mm. yeah. so you know of course when speaking about Jersey I know you have a few songs with like Sue Surf mm -hmm. um what's that relationship like how did y'all start <laughs> he cool. He yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. He cool. He, um, when I first came home and shit, uh, 2015. When I first came, <laughs> when I first came home in 2015, or oh, whatever and shit. You feel me? He had reached out to me and he was like, "Yo, let's get it." You feel mm -hmm. me? I'm like, "I bet." You know what I'm saying? But Austin is my brother, though. You feel me? I fuck with Austin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, this this is not even me being mixy, but like. You know what's going on right now between him and Mr. Chicken with the whole whole situation. Ooh, wow. Mm, what you got going on? Who is that? Okay, cool. Please don't even mention names that we don't know. Okay. Like, Please don't even mention names that we don't know on my platform. We ain't okay, sharing who that. Is he? We ain't we sharing know. that. Mm -mm. All right. Whoa. Well, let's um, put it like this, though. Niggas know what's up with me. Don't play with me in this interview. Don't play with me. I'll come out of retirement and do something to you. You know why I'm rocking. But yeah, next question. All right. Well, um, how do you feel about like having allies in the industry, having friends in the industry? Is that something that you prioritize or do you just move the way you move and whatever happens, happens organically? I got some allies. I got some niggas that really fuck with me. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, 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 you know, Kodak, me and Kodak like this. That's, mm -hmm. that's bro. You feel me? Um, me and AR Rap, everything AR Rap got going on. Mm -hmm. AR Rap, that's why I put them on my mixtape cover. Um. Ab, the village rapper I met, you feel me? No cap, like that. That's a, that's. How did y'all meet? Yo, he he reached out to me. He this how me and Ab met. No cap, right? This how me and him met. His um, he got niggas that down down um in PA doing doing life or whatever. Mm. So my shit is on my music is in in the jails. Mm -hmm. Like I'm mainstream behind the wall. Mm -hmm. So somebody that's doing life down there, what that's real close to Ab, they called him and was like, nigga, you gotta work with that nigga. Oh wow. That nigga called my phone and he was like, yo. Yo, I've been hearing about you, but my man downstate right now, he got three life sentences 
And he said, yo, me and you got to work, bro. So I'm like, wow. yeah. Word up. Like, and it's, and so it, what was you feeling like? Like, when you got that call? I'm like, because I fuck with Ab. I'm like, he, he coming like that. But I'm like, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm like, yeah, niggas was telling me. Because you know, you know, every time you drop music, when you lit and people try to, like, compare you to people. Mm -hmm. So they they like tag you in like yo they always like yo, you and Ab gotta do a song so I right, be hearing right, right. about it like you feel me like so my fans wanted to see that shit anyway so I'm like I right, bet mm -hmm. so I'm like I'm like I said I'm the type of person I need to I need to build with you I need to get around you and mm -hmm. see if you really who you say you are mm -hmm. and so Ab was like yo pull up on the block I'm like where you at he like Philly I'm like I'm coming through you feel me like I right, bet you coming to Philly? Yeah, nigga, I'm coming to Philly. Oh, shit. Fuck you talking about? Came on a block and anything. I can show you the clipping. The first clipping I ever do, the clipping of me and him when I was in Philly. Uh -huh. He was like, nigga, you in South Philly, nigga. Niggas from South Philly don't even come to South Philly. You feel wow. me? Wow. Yeah, I'm in here. I pulled up. And like then that. what about Kodak? Because I think Kodak reached out to you too, yeah, right? Yeah, Kodak reached out to me too. He was um he was fucking with my music. They was watching my freestyle on Flex. Mm -hmm. And Kodak reached out to me and was like, yo, um... Nigga, we gotta get it. Like, you feel me? He, yeah, he, you body that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You he body. He like, yo, we gotta get it, bro. He like, yo, I seen that. She said, I seen that video. He was like, yo, when you come to um, he he, he thought I was from New York. Mm -hmm. He was like, I'm in New York. Where you at? Let's work. I'm like, bro, I'm from Jersey. He was like, he like, where you at? I'm like, I'm in Atlanta. I was in the studio with WAP, and I was leaving though the next day. I said, I come back in town next tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He was like, I bet. So I pulls up on him. Know what I mean, me and my brother, we went and pulled up on him, and it was love. We was we was going song for song. Mm. So I'm playing my music, he playing his music, and me and Kodak, we like besides the um the song, the little commercial songs that he got, mm -hmm. Kodak talked that shit. He talked that street shit. So he just talked. This is different language from what we got going on up top. So we were just we just playing songs, all street shit. He playing shit, I'm playing shit. We going song for song. Wow. He like, man, we gotta get it in. You feel me? So he was like, let's do what we gotta do a mixtape. You feel me? I'm like, well, I'm like, I'm like, I got a super Saiyan mixtape coming up. He like, I right, bet. So who you coming like? I'm not on some Gohan and Goku shit. You heard? So that's why he went all orange with the that's dreads, hard. the yellow with the dreads. That's wow. all. That's all. That's Super Saiyan shit. That's me. That's what, like me and him was talking wow. about shit. That's what I mean. So when he threw all that shit, he was all like, like basically on some like free LBL type shit. You uh huh. Word up. No, that's really fire, especially to have like cosigns like that in nah, the industry. That's bro. You know something that I it's like it blows my mind about you because everybody that and I told you this yesterday everybody that I've brought your name up to has said that they fuck with you yeah. you have millions or millions or millions of views you have yeah. so many comments just like with people expressing how much support you have and how much they love you and yeah. everything you have to co-sign but it's like what is keeping you or what do you think is keeping you from being mainstream because it's like everything seems to be I think I'm alive. too gritty man I'm just a gangster and these now, niggas ain't gangsters. Don't these niggas ain't gangsters. Why are you yelling at me? I'm just letting you know, man. These <laughs> niggas ain't gangsters, man. These niggas like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't, bro. Uh -huh. Certain niggas are though. Shout out to the gangsters that really on top right now. And they moving like gangsters. I respect y'all. Trust mm -hmm. me. But they know how hard it was for them to make it to where they at. By being gangster, mm -hmm. I, and they they was afraid of me. They was afraid, like, know what I mean? They ain't know how to take me. You know, you see what my story when you Google me. You know what I'm into. Mm -hmm. So they be nervous with that shit. You but it's I mean? crazy because and I, then I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to. I don't know how to network. Okay, I'm terrible networking. Network, networking is very important. I be important. like, because oh, I you, you got to talk to these weird ass rappers. I don't. I, I'm like this nigga's a weirdo. You get around him. How many rappers you been around and you thought he was rah rah rah? You be like, this nigga's. A fucking weirdo enough for me to know that what you get what i'm saying <laughs> you get yes. what i'm saying so i'll be like yo damn i thought this guy was that then i get around like i pray yeah. to god when i meet my favorite rapper he don't be a weirdo mm. you feel me don't be a weirdo <laughs> you gonna break my heart you gonna kill my childhood Who, who's that who's that that was p oh, please don't be a weirdo i was p bro P's if he be a weirdo, weirdo it's gonna destroy me oh, like no. you don't know to me charles i had to turn them on we riding out like ah uh, but you want to know in the machine nigga time to come clean nigga no yeah. i'm weak yeah but you know what's interesting about what you just said the fact that you know you said that people are scared of you and it's, it's that gangster shit because i feel like we're at a time right now where a lot of the music that's being glorified it's is gangsta that shit. gangster shit. That so I mean that they gangster, like you just and said. And that's and that's what I was gonna ask you. Do you yeah. think that goes back to the whole like selling an image? Nah, it's, motherfuckers are just talented. Niggas not to make music now. Niggas ain't really tough. You know what I'm saying? But so do you. So that's why mm -hmm. I'm saying this. It's just interesting to me that 
you know, it would be, it would take you away from being mainstream because you're really about it. I think I'm on my way but to mainstream, though. I was just number one in the world with Dottie, you mm. feel me? And then I got more music coming behind that shit, you feel me? So, mm. like, I think I think it's my time. I think it's definitely my time to be mainstream. Like, mm-hmm. a lot of people, a lot of artists fucking with me, a lot of artists reaching out to me, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That's mainstream, mm-hmm. that one work with me, so... It's going to happen. I got no problem brushing shoulders and getting around these people. Mm-hmm. I mean. I know you got a whole song called Don't Compare Me. I know you don't like to be compared. But yeah, if yeah. you had to um, describe your sound using an artist or if you can't find an artist using one of your songs or if you had to. You know what? I'm going I'm to switch it up a little bit. If you had to describe your sound to somebody who has never heard any of your music. And doesn't have access to hear any of your music. How would you describe it? Don't say gangster. Nah, I ain't gonna say that's too easy. Um, I describe my shit like, like the old. I, 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 I'm the, I'm the hardcore rapping Adele. <laughs> 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 Fuck your head over that, right? Let me explain that why is though. Not what I was I'm gonna say Adele say. because. Every time you hear Adele sing, uh-huh. you feel her. You do. You feel me? Every time you hear me rap, you feel me. So that's why I say Adele. I'm the hardcore Adele. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to I don't Adele. Wanna, don't compare, I don't want to compare me to none of these other weirdos uh-huh. because I done, I done seen it happen. Don't compare me to that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I sound a little, do I sound cocky? I don't want to sound cocky. I'm just, I'm, I'm just don't. But yeah, I like. Adele. I don't think you sound cocky. Like don't talk your shit. I like Adele that. Adele is that woman. Yeah, we love so Adele. I'm like, I'm like the gangster Adele. Yeah. You <laughs> okay. <know what> I mean? <laughs> so when it came to the music and being in the industry, who was the first person that really like believed in you? Like the first person to give you a chance. Wartenberg. Mm. Wartenberg, and he just got the um, he um got the priority records. Then he the first person that believed in me. Wartenberg in the industry. Mm-hmm. Like, he was literally waiting for me to come home from jail for my last case. Mm-hmm. And he had, like, yo, I want you in the studio. You know what I mean? That's how me and P&B rock. Mm-hmm. Um, start messing with each other and shit. Because he had P&B. He wanted me around them niggas. And then when A Boogie first took off, he wanted me around them niggas. Like, you feel me? He always tried to keep me in a loop. Mm-hmm. One bird, the reason I got signed to Empire, he p- he pitched me to Ghazi. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And was like, yo, ow, yeah. You feel me? Wow. Walton bird. Shout out to Walton bird. Jersey Shout City, yeah. Bird. And you brought up Gazi, and I know that you were saying, like, the last time that you, well, I don't know if it was the last time you saw Gazi, but when you flew out to go and meet him, Mm -hmm. um, when you came back home, that was when you got locked up. Yeah. Is that something that, like, following that and now being home now, do you feel like that has created any hurdles? Do you feel like it was, like... It, it was just a little pause, and now you back the same way that you were when you met him. The it, first it, it wasn't time. a little pause. It hurt. It hurt. It took. It took a lot. You feel me? That's mm-hmm. why I'm so much in a rush, because mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I'm going. I want every second back they took from me. You feel me? So, but I think I think I definitely picked up where I left off at. And then I jumped over that shit mm-hmm. just by seeing my music go number one in the world. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, like. It's up. Mm-hmm. It's going down. You feel me? So, we going to do a little game real quick. Let's get it. Um, And I want to see. Can I get some more Henny? Oh, yeah. I want some too. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some more Henny. That's my side bitch, Henny. I'm a Remy nigga. We going to play a game. Mm-hmm. I'm going to see how crispy your memory is. I'm going to ask you a few questions about what your favorite things were before you went in and after you went in. Mm-hmm. All right? And we going to see what changed, if anything. All right. All right. So your favorite place to eat then? Is the Char House. And now? Still a Char House. Still the Char House. Yeah. Haven't been put on, but you put us on to that. Yeah. We definitely got to go check it out. Yeah. yeah, it's in Jersey and Weehawken. Fire. What is it? Steakhouse? Yeah. Oh, okay. It go crazy. Steak. How you eat your steak? Well done. Oh no! And you see, you said Did you it eat so your shit ma- bloody. You said it so matter of factly that I'm actually very disappointed. How you eat your steak? Medium well, because we not shaking the table. You we got, not. You, you chewing for for mm. too mm. long. No, you don't. Maybe because you strong. Maybe that's why. Because <laughs> I feel like I get yeah. around that steak of yeah. water shaking Medium everything. Well, we don't though. need. Yeah. It still be bloody. Don't though. knock it until you try it. It's a little pink, but it's not bloody. Nah, it's I bloody. didn't say rare. It's bloody. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> favorite upcoming artist then? Before I went in, my favorite upcoming artist can't even cat. Money man. Money man. Yeah. Okay. Money Shout man make money you want to go get it. That's bro. Okay. That's my dog too. Shout out to Money Man. Favorite upcoming artist now. Favorite upcoming artist now. 
All right. No, Peasy and Rio. Okay. Peasy and Rio. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Shout out to them too. All yeah. right. Baddest girl on Instagram then. Then? <sighs> I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna say a regular girl. That I um baddest girl on Instagram. Then I say uh one of the oh Bernice. That's easy. Okay, shout out to Bernice. That's a bad bitch. That's a bad. That's bitch. a bad bitch. All right. Shit. And what about now? I like I like I like I can't say a name because when you say bitch's name, they be thinking like oh you want anybody so I can, it, it, it'll fuck my little thing up. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm saying. I like Doja Cat. Oh, shout out to Doja Cat. That's uh, yeah. I mean, like is that that's not what you was gonna say? But we'll I'm, take it. I'm gonna say Doja Cat. Okay, but you see, now you First, fucking me up because I was gonna ask you about your celeb crush. Doja Cat. Yeah, Doja Cat has been always been your celeb crush. Who's your celeb crush before? Before uh -huh. or before? Mm. <laughs> What's T? Megan Good. Okay. All the time. I mean, in her, she broke she up with bro, right? Holla at my style. <laughs> Penny. Holla at my style. You sure you're shy you at fuck with a gangster. Uh -huh. Fuck with a gangster. And that would me? be a complete turnaround because she was just a whole pastor. What? So That's going from a want. pastor to a gangster is choke all of me. Your mouth. No, I'm saying. <laughs> Chip, tell you, Megan. Megan, good. if you watching this, he's Megan shooting. Good. His yeah, shot. yeah. He said, yeah. come fuck with a real nigga. For real, for real. All what? right. Um, your favorite clothing brand then? Nike Tex. Okay. Now, you know who loves oh, that. Who love a Nike Tex? Yeah. Um, you know what I'm talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Ice Spice. She oh, said Ice Spice like, like Nike, Nike Tex. Is she like, yeah, she cool, she cool, she cute or whatever. <laughs> yeah. um, All right, so Nike Tech then. What about now? No, nah, it wasn't Nike Tech then. Back in it, back then it was uh before I went to jail, I was fucking with I was fucking with the polo sweatsuits and Burberry. Okay, okay, and now it's Nike Tech. Now it's Nike, all Nike Tech, all Grand Mood. Yeah. Okay, real comfy. All right, your craziest memory then? We was in a shootout, right? Oh. So, that was <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, these niggas had me, bro, on oh, gang, right? Boom, so we in the car, we in the oh, projects. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a joke, too. Right, these whole ass niggas, they had us, right? Boom, we in the G-Ride. So, look. <laughs> yeah. So look, we I ain't gonna drop no names, I ain't gonna drop no dates. We in the G Rod, these bitch ass niggas, they was scared they had it on me, right? Boom. So I'm backing out, I'm backing out the parking spot. So I'm backing out the parking spot, they start flipping on my shit. Broom, 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 broom. I'm watching the nigga. My cousin, he diving in the car, like, oh, they going to pull up, pull up. I'm watching the nigga. He eating. You feel me? I'm looking at him like, you bitch ass nigga. Like, you better not miss. You feel me? So he just ump, he going, he going, he going, boom. So I pulls up a little bit more, like, because I was backing up. He caught me while I was backing up. So you know you got to do the little K and you got to go. So I'm going like this, boom. I'm, but I'm looking at him. No cap. I'm looking at him. like, he ass. He really missing. So I start pulling up a little bit. <laughs> jumps out. We start going. <laughs> now they running. <laughs> yeah, that's where I go. You heard? That's a crazy memory. It's the theatrics. Long time ago. Long, long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. Very long time ago. Okay, and then, yeah. and then now, because I know we got it's better days. What's the, the craziest memory? <laughs> the craziest memory now. Yeah, the craziest memory now. <sighs> Let me see. What was the crazy memory now? Oh, shit. I ain't going to talk about that. Um, Please don't. Um... Me throwing up probably on on a yacht. Shit. Then I threw up on a private jet. You threw up on a yacht? Yeah. It was bitches on there? It was bad bitches oh, on there. Oh, no. I hate that for nah, you. Nah, they was rubbing my back and everything. They was like, you're going to be okay. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm like, I'm not. I'm not going to be okay. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how I feel about that. Yeah. I don't know if I would have been one of the back rubbers. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like, really Damn, feeling that yacht can't. shit no more. I thought it was cool. I oh, because really... maybe you was like seasick. I was fucked up. That's yo. Oh. I'm that my video right now, King Cobra. That shit, I was seasick. If you every scene you see me on a yacht, I was seasick. Even though I was turning up, I was done. I was like finished. what you said before, fake it till you make I it. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't wait to get off that boat. They wow. like, come on, we got to shoot. I'm like, get me the fuck off this boat. <laughs> oh no! Fuck this ocean. They like, look at the view. Fuck this view. Uh uh. Get fuck out of here. And you said that happened on the PJ too. Yeah, on the PJ too. So it's too. just emotion. My first time ever on the PJ, I threw up. Damn. I'm like, I, cause I came home and I just ran to it. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't take no time. I didn't waste no time. I just like, yo, I'm going to get this shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. It was like. 
I I was I get car sick too. My motion sickness shit crazy, but it never been like that. It's just yeah. because I'm speeding. Yeah. I ain't take no I ain't take no break yet. All right, all right. Your favorite verse. Let's see if you can remember. Your favorite verse then. He said, I don't give a fuck about none of y'all, not one of y'all. I give it to any one of y'all in front of y'all. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's called Made Niggas. I'll be out freestyle. And it's mad niggas. funny because you said he said, and I was going to ask if that he was you. Nah, and it was. It's the gladiator. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. And what's your favorite verse now? My favorite verse now? I'm for marrying. That's a city inside a city. See, word around town that niggas ain't fucking with me. That shit tricky. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's on that That's on that Free the Real album, man. I'm for marrying. That's my favorite okay. song. What song is that? What song is that? I'm for marrying. Yeah. All right, all right, all, all pain. right. It's all, it's, it's, it's all from, like, it's, it's just giving you history from where I'm from. Mm-hmm. It's giving you... It, 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 that song explains... Who I am today, you mm. feel me? Cause mm-hmm. I was somebody, I was somebody yesterday, mm-hmm. but today I'm a different nigga. Like, and I'm looking at life different, everything. You feel you me? You're a walking testimony, and we love Heard to see it, it. Thank you. All right, so your favorite blog now? Be mindful of what you say. My favorite blog. Your favorite blog then? My favorite blog then? Uh huh. I don't got no favorite blog then. No. Mm-mm. So what's your favorite blog now? Y'all, fuck you talking oh, about. Oh, all right. What the fuck is you talking about? Okay. Duh. I just had to make sure y'all Duh. heard it here first. Duh. Big talk of the town, period. Mm-hmm. All right. The craziest rumor about yourself. What was the craziest rumor you heard about yourself back then? Um, the craziest rumor I've heard about myself is that I got it. That I only like black girls. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. Yo, everybody be like, yo, you only like black girls. You don't like Spanish girls. You don't like this, that, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But I ain't racist. I fuck bitches all type of colors. I don't care. You feel me? <laughs> if you pretty and you real, you solid, we can make something happen. Straight like that. But I'm taking real over bad any day. You feel me? Period. I need a uh-huh. real bitch. Like, you feel me? Cause What's a real bitch? A real what a, I'm a I can't wait. Let me get my shit right. Oh. But a real bitch Talk is just a real bitch is gonna be there for you. A real bitch going a real bitch is everything to a street nigga that's just gonna be there for you. Like she ain't gonna pest you. Yeah, she gonna pull you up when you slipping. Mm-hmm. She gonna do all that shit. You feel me? She gonna like she is it, it, balanced. A real bitch is balanced because you 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 off balance as a nigga. Period. Mm. But when that real bitch gonna be on your ass, like yo, da da da, even it's not gonna be nagging. Nagging is something bad. But when she just telling you like yo, babe, like. We we need Tie to go out. We got we gotta go here. We gotta do this. Mm-hmm. You feel me? We ain't do this in a while. Like a real bitch gonna be on your body. A real bitch like she really care about you. She gonna tell you protect yourself. A real bitch gonna be there for you if you fall. She gonna be like yo nah, like cause and it's gonna fuck up when you fall because she gonna feel like she fell too. She feel everything you gone through. Mm-hmm. That's a real. You bitch. know what? I really fuck with that answer because I feel like a lot of, like, especially, like, rappers and stuff, I feel like they go after the bad bitches. Mm -hmm. But no offense to the bad bitches. Shout out to the bad bitches. We love them. Yeah, we do. We love y'all. But a lot of them be dense as fuck. And so the substance is not there. So it's like, I'm very happy that you said that. Because it, there's so much more that goes into nah, no cap. Because like I fuck a lot taste. of bad bitches. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The thing with these bad bitches is this, yo. Like they don't got no personality. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And it ain't no like I was just locked up, right? And niggas be wanting to know like yo, Paul, what, yo, what's yo? You ever had you had or yo, da this bad chick, da da da, or beat me down about a bad chick? And I be mm-hmm. like, I don't got no story to tell because it literally would be like, I pulled up, we went out for drinks, and we did, what we did. Mm-hmm. It's no, it's no chemistry, it's no conversation. Mm-hmm. They they got no personality. Not all of them, but I'm saying like, if a girl ain't got no personality, no conversation, mm-hmm. that shit is gonna be that. It's just gonna right. be sex. But right. if you got, if you got, if you cool as hell. You do the one that's gonna be rocking. If I could, if I could walk out the room and leave you in the room with my brothers, and you in there laughing, joking, chilling with them, right? Yeah, she cool as hell. You feel me? Okay. I like, I like a bitch like that. That's valid. That's valid. Okay, yeah. and we're gonna yeah. end it off with the most memorable piece of advice that you got. And I know we touched on one already. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you want to reiterate that, Which or one? if you got a new Which piece one? of advice that you got from your brother. So. What's the most memorable piece of advice that you got then, or that you had then, if you can remember? The most peaceful advice I got back then mm-hmm. that I didn't listen to, though, but I should have listened to was stop going in the hood so much. Mm. Your plan, your, your object is to make it out. My cousin used to call me 
every day. My cousin got 20 years, you feel me? And he used to call me every day, and I'd be like, yo, I'd be like, I'm down to projects. Why you down here? I'm like, this home, nigga. He like, man, ain't nothing down here, bro. What the fuck? Like, you gotta make it out of there, bro. All right, well, I'm back in town. When I'm back, when I'm in town, mm -hmm. you have me in the hood. Fuck, mm -hmm. you in the house. Yeah, nigga, you better be in, be in the house. Fuck with your kids. So I never really, like, paid that no mind. You So that's the peaceful advice I got from him that I didn't listen to. I'm taking heed to it now mm -hmm. because it's like, fuck the hood, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, it's like the hood is like, you, of course you're going to do for the hood and you're going to help niggas get out. Mm -hmm. But it's like hanging in there all the time for what? You ain't nothing but a target. Even if you was who I am and niggas know I'll be sharked up, but it's just like, then what? Now we got to put some work in. Now we got to get lawyers. Now we got to fight a case. Right. Man, we could avoid that shit by just being some. We could get a hotel suite and invite motherfuckers over. Mm -hmm. And that's that, bro. Yeah. That's real. And what about now? What's the most memorable piece of advice that you've gotten recently? My old head. My old head on the max tier right now. His name Murder. He burned on me and shit. Um... Before I left out the jail, he pulled me to the side when I was packing on my shit. He was like, he was like, bro, look, nigga, you can't save everybody. Everybody can't go. Take care of you. Take care of you and take care of the ones that's that's gonna really be that you gonna notice. Mm -hmm. That's really gonna be rocking with you. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yo, look, nigga, you just did three years. They just try to give you life. Go out there and take everything the niggas owe you. And I and it's proven that I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. Word up. Period. Now, I don't know if you mind, like, I'm, of course, not going to get into nothing too crazy, but I am curious about the time that you spent while you was locked up. That's mm -hmm. cool for us to talk yeah, to get into. Yeah. All right. So I know that you was facing, you know, you was facing life at one point. I think I also read that you was facing 70 years at one point. Mm -hmm. What was going through your mind, like, while you were waiting for your sentencing and just knowing that? You were gonna go back in, like how? What What were your thoughts? What fucked me up was when I when I got locked up. I didn't I didn't think it was that bad. I'm like, I mean, of course it's bad, but I'm like, I'll be back because I was talking to Casanova before I got locked up, mm -hmm. and me and him was on Facetime, and I'm like, bro, I'll be back. He's mm -hmm. like, yeah, hey, what happened? I'm like, I'm telling him I'm, I was on the run talking to him. I finished my mixtape King Op on the run, mm. so. I'm talking to him like, yeah, this and the third, like the song I did Marriott on the run. I did um King. I did so many songs on the run, so. I'm talking to him and shit. I'm like, yo, I gotta go. He like, what? He like, what happened? I'm like, man, nigga tried me, bro. You know I ain't going for that. Cause I'm, I, I got anxiety, bro. Like, you know, you know how many rappers get killed? I ain't going out like that. I'm mm -hmm. gonna fuck. What's going on? Like, mm -hmm. if I'm with security and they acting like they gonna freeze, I'm gonna snatch that shit off them. You feel me? Like, it's going down. So that's some real shit. So mm -hmm. like, how I feel about this shit is like, I don't know, man. I'm just happy to be here, honestly. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, I lost track of what the question was. What was what, what what was going through your mind, like? Oh, yeah. at that time, what was going what was going on through my mind? Like I had to get back. You feel me? When I went to court and they was like, and my mother, everybody was in there, and they was like, "Yo, life." I'm like, "What? Fuck!" <laughs> I bet. I see my mother and I'm crying. All oh, that shit. I might get back, and then everything was just falling apart. Like, like everything, like. I was just a man. You feel me? I was just a man out there. Like, I was mm. just that. See, Take that's why I feel like some niggas don't be learning going back to jail. Because nowadays, mm -hmm. I don't know if, like, this was you, but niggas be having the phones. They be on TikTok. They be just lit, cooling, chilling, living life. Yeah, jail. Fucking the CEOs. Like, it's just like. Jail be alright sometimes, but it ain't alright. It's never alright. You feel me? But it's just right. like. Like, it, even that shit, even that shit, like, it's cool. You on FaceTime, you smiling. You on you on you on the phone. That shit ain't nothing because you gotta hang that bitch up and you can't do nothing. Like you can't hug your family. Yeah, you could call them. Mm -hmm. Man, my son was five, my son five years old. Every time I try to talk to my son while I was in jail, he walk away from the phone. Mm. It wasn't that he ain't love me. It was just like his attention span. He a baby, so he like pops. I mean, like mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So it was like I'm like man, I gotta get home. So when I found the news I was coming home, I called that little nigga and I'm like, listen. I'm like, I'm like, yo, guess what? He ain't even paying me no mind. He got his tablet. He ain't looking at me. I'm like, I'm FaceTiming him. I'm like, yo, guess what? He like, what? I'm like, I'm coming home. He looked at me like he was looking at when? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> all this time he was dissing me all the time. He like, he paying when? attention now. He like, when? He like, I said, I come home next week, y'all. He was like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. So his mother now, when, that, when the phone hang up, his mother texts me. She like, don't be playing with my baby. Is you really coming home? 
Bitch, I'm coming home. What the fuck oh, you talking about? I love that. And it was over. That little boy can't eat. Like, eat. Man, that's my And heart. what was that feeling like? That feeling was crazy because I didn't want to tell nobody. I just wanted to pop up. But the way my son was doing me while I was locked up, it was bothering me. Mm-hmm. So I had to tell him. Mm-hmm. And then he told all his sisters. Like, <laughs> he like, hey, daddy coming home. He said he coming home next week. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, I try to pop out. You feel right, me? Right, right. Up. Burn up. <laughs> so what was that like? So I know you just described what it was like with your son. But what about, like, with your friends, with the pe- other people that were close to you like how were those relationships while you were were you gone did you see any changes in the way people was moving man it's a lot of motherfuckers i ain't hear from Mm -hmm. it's a lot of motherfuckers i did hear from that i didn't expect to hear from that's always how it go you feel me Mm -hmm. and and shout out to my fans man i got so much fan mail yo like my fans used to send me money like i ain't want for nothing like, I ain't you. going for nothing, like, for real. Like, people used to reach out to me, like, Al, you need money? And I'd be like, yo, send it to my brother, because my co-defendant, that's my brother, you mm-hmm. feel me? I might send it to my brother. So he was always straight, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't never need nothing. Like, I ain't, like, my, my main shorty, I was like, yo, don't send me, she, she probably sent me money, like, twice. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, you good, just kick back and keep your legs closed, you feel me? <laughs> I'll be back, you feel me? That's about it, you feel me? But... Ain't, like I ain't really need no money. I ain't mm. need no money. Just set them visits up and just be there. And just pick that phone up. So you had a you had a girl while you was locked up. So I didn't really have a girl, but I did have a girl. You, I, 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 like like in her mind, I'm her girl. She was my girl, but in my mind, not to say she wasn't like you know what I mean. Like I love her. I'm not trying to play her nothing. Let me explain this shit to you. Mm-hmm. In her mind, I was her nigga. In my mind, she was my friend because it was like any second the judge could break us up. I was facing life. So if the, the judge slammed the gavel down and say you got life, like how you gonna be my girl? Right. So you wasn't attaching yourself just based on the fact yeah, that it you wasn't me? certain what was. But I love happen. her though. You mm. feel me? She's solid. She a real one. You feel me? And she re- like when I came home, I made sure she's straight. That's my dog. You mm-hmm. feel me? Mm-hmm. We keep it like that. Mm-hmm. But like, and, and I'm talking about this shit on camera because it's like I don't give a fuck. Like you know what I mean? I ain't trying to press nobody or nothing. Mm-hmm. Her loyalty was like it earned, it earned somewhere in my heart where it's like no matter what, if we if we ever grow apart, you could always call my phone and be there for you. Go fuck if you fucking with a nigga or nothing like mm-hmm. you feel me like you got you got have a whole nigga like yo, I need help with this bang I'm pulling up right because she was there for you at yeah, your like one of me? your lowest Heard points up, you know so. what I mean so I and I was just facing too much time to be like yo I got a girl I can't mm-hmm. hell no I, I can't in jail you can't have that mindset like you got a girl because bitches getting hit so you wait me? so okay so if you didn't have that mindset you had like was bitches sending you pictures and stuff Most definitely yeah uh, yeah, yeah send that shit up bust I, that shit no. bust that shit. <laughs> Uh, you got the tablet. Get me banned, nah, bitch. Not get me the, banned. They were sending time. it through the mail through JPay because I know you can upload yeah. pictures on JPay. Hell yeah, too. I'm like, get me banned. I'm about to call you right now. I had nothing on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you was on the phone. Yeah. Word up. <laughs> How was they even? This was fans. This was girls you already knew. Yeah, this fans was, go crazy too. The fans go crazy. I can imagine. So wait, so how does that translate now that you home? Because I know <laughs> bitches love a nigga that's fresh home. Yeah, I try, know that. Everybody trying to get hit, but I'm so, easy on them. I ain't really, I ain't, ain't no pressure. I'm too busy for that. And uh-huh. it's like, and, I, and you know what the funny part is? The bitches that weren't there for me trying to be there for me the most. Mm-hmm. And I don't even let them bitches get close to me. Mm-hmm. Like I had a bitch, I had a bitch. She was cool as hell. I was really rocking one. She came out of nowhere and started holding me down. And then the bitch told me God told her to leave me. Like, what, what the fuck, bitch? I'm blessed too. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? God told you to leave me. Yeah. Yo. God told you to leave me. So now I come home. Bang, I'm back. She in my DM like, you really ain't going to reach out? Bitch, you tell God told you to leave me. Maybe it was temporary. Maybe he told her to leave. You know what? All right, well, shit. I well, don't look. question she, God. Well, she stuck so. around now. Look at me. Look at me. It's, it's going down. <laughs> High speed chase is up. <laughs> You feel me? Crazy. We viral. She, man, it was she had to do it. She was cute too, but uh-huh. like I said, I'm taking real over bad. Right. Any, any day. day. So now, like, what is it that you look for when, like, because I know they throwing themselves at you and I know that you said that you got off of it. Yeah. But, like, what is it that you would be looking for? Because you don't know a real bitch right away. It's a mirage, man. I don't believe in these bitches, bro. I don't believe in these bitches. Like, I don't be like, yo, I. So I just try to keep it cool. Like I told you, mm-hmm. got to keep it friendly. Like, be my dog. Mm-hmm. You be my dog. If you can't be my dog, you can't be my bitch. So how long do you wait it out? Like, at what point does a girl go from being your dog to being your bitch or even to being a consideration? Everything is earned. You put that work in. You feel me? If I start fucking with you, you're going to start realizing. You're going to go from the hotels to the crib. <laughs> so what you doing? My whole thing is, like, what are you doing in, like, in exchange for this where it's, like, it's earned? Like, what is what are they getting back? Like, we friends. Cool. 
But it's like, what's even keeping me around? I don't realize a nigga breathing, first of all. Uh huh. My conversation is gonna keep you around. Okay. I got I give great advice. I'm a good nigga you can rely on. I can rely on me. Mm-hmm. I'm a good nigga to have in your phone. When you go and do some shit, you could be going to do shit with your family. You be going to do shit with your nigga. I miss a good nigga you could count on. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Well, like I, I'm telling you, you can hit my phone anytime. Like, what's popping? You good? And you chop it up with me. Like, yeah, it's 10 and 30. This was going on. Like, I'm, I'm bringing everything to the table. What okay. you bringing to the table? You know what I mean? And, and then at the same time, I'm going to educate you. I'm going to put you on game. Okay. I'm going to let you know how to move out here. Like, what the fuck you should do? What you into? Are you doing lashes? I bet I'm about to get you right. Look, this is how we gonna do this shit. We about to book a celebrity for your last. I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay for. It. I'm gonna hit the celebrity. Like, yo, okay, I, you investing in business. Come on, man. Love that. Stop playing with me. What? Yeah. Shout yeah. out to you for that. Okay, well, you yeah. let me know. See, I just wanted to uh-huh. know. I'm, I'm everything. I'm, I'm the catch. I'm I will, yo, I swear, I was literally just yeah. about to say. It sounds like you would catch. Yeah. I, mean, I swear, I was just about I'm to say, say that. That's I'm mad saying. funny. Okay, so. Back to like what it was like in there. So I know that you were in there like mid pandemic Mm. and while that was going on, you know, COVID was delaying a lot of cases. It was a lot of stuff going on with like just the mistreatment of inmates and, you know, a lot of people getting sick in there and like it was just a whole lot. So what was your experience, you know, having to go through your court cases and stuff and being in jail while or being in prison while by far the worst shit I ever experienced in my life, like. Them three years was so hard. It flew past mm-hmm. because of COVID. It was like it was cool when COVID was there. Like the best time to do jail time is football season because the weeks go by so fast because you always anticipating football. You mm-hmm. got Monday night football, you got Thursday night football, you got college football, you got mm-hmm. Sunday football. Mm-hmm. So anybody in jail, they love football season. So when COVID was there and it was nothing, right? Poo. It was like what we doing here? Like and then you see them, they letting people go home. Mm-hmm. But they ain't letting the serious cases go on. Right. So it's like, yo, we stuck in here. Like, so fuck what, us. So what were we thinking? Doing? It's, we thinking it's the end of the world. Like, every time you turn the news on, it's looking like a zombie apocalypse out that bitch. No, dead ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we in jail. Like, yo, what the getting, fuck they gonna do about me. us? It's all type of rumors. Like, they about to let us go home, give us bracelets. Let me the fuck out of here. You see, in Jersey, it ain't no bells. It's no bell in Jersey. So people that's watching, wherever you from, that's why we were stuck in there. Really? Ain't no bail in Jersey. You I didn't me? know that. Nah, wow. There's no bail reform. The judge tell you if your, oh, your case serious, you ain't going home. Wow. That's too Like what? So that's what I was up against. Mm-hmm. So I'm in that bitch during COVID and I'm stuck in there. And then I couldn't. And then I go to court and they like, yo, my case, my, my, my motion was set for March 2020. The same motion that I beat and came home for mm-hmm. was set for March 2020. But what happened March 2020? COVID. So my motion got pushed back for two years. Damn. For two years, all the way till they felt like, okay, these old motherfuckers ready to go to court. You mm, feel me? Mm-hmm. And they not scared of COVID. They vaccinated. We're going to let y'all in and do this court case and let y'all argue. So when we finally did the argument and let the shit go on in court, they opened mm-hmm. the courthouses up. Look at me, I'm home. So what was you doing while that was... Because you said there was no football. Well, I, I mean, we all know there was no football. There, Everything was kind of on pause. So what was you doing to pass the time? I was jailing. I was jailing. <laughs> Fuck that. I was jailing. Define jailing. I was jailing. What, what, what is that? I was jailing. Yeah, writing music, fucking talking to girls on phone, uh-huh. visits. You feel me? Watching TV, playing in there, cards. Listen, one thing I learned, what you learned is that the niggas in jail be shuffling it up. Like I said, I used to fuck with a nigga that was in jail. Yeah. And like, we would be on the phone and I'll be like, yeah, what you doing? He's like, oh yeah, I'm about to make lasagna. What? Yeah. <laughs> niggas used to really be shuffling it up in there. Yo, like, jail, these niggas creative as hell. Oh, D. I'm telling you, I see a nigga make pizza in jail. See? From yes, scratch. I know. I From be scratch. hearing it. And I think that that's like, it's so creative. Yeah. Love that. But it's just like so wild that it really be whole ass meals. I ain't one of them niggas though. I don't, I, 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 I know how to make my own food for yeah, me. Yeah, because I was about to say you literally just posted something like, oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a cook for me, but I'm lazy as hell. So if I know somebody like say, I'd be like, yo, oh, you, you, you not a cook on the tent. I go holler at you like, yo, what's up with you even like? <laughs> I ain't got no food. I got some food. We go put this shit oh, up. You right, 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 right. Like I don't never cook. I don't never cook unless I'm like really hungry. Mm-hmm. I like because I'm real lazy. I swear to God, I hate cooking. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I got patience for that shit. But when I'm hungry, I'ma feed myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Heard right up. But I always let somebody cook for me in jail. I always got a chef in that motherfucker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right so like, what were you looking looking forward to when you when it came close to like your release date? What were the things that you were looking forward to doing? Yeah, I was just like. 
I was just excited just to get back to my kids and my mm -hmm. family. And I just wanted to get in the studio. I, right. That's it. You was I, writing while you was in there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was on my shit. Sometimes, though, sometimes I used to be, like, feeling like a waste of talent. And I wouldn't write at all. But most of the time, like, if the mic talked me, like, I, I, I had shit ready. Like, mm -hmm. like, my whole mixtape right now that just dropped, that shit all jail music. Like, shit I wrote while I was in jail. I was just finding beats to match to it. Mm hmm right. So who was you were you listening to music while you was in there? Who you was listening to? Um who the fuck was I listening to in there? I listen to everybody. Everybody that like whenever I call somebody, they put me on somebody. Like they just put me on like um like every time somebody came out with a new wave, like they was like, I yo, ESTG, he hot right now. I right, tap into him. Oh, okay. Yo, so Pooh Shice, he hot right now. I right, bet. You know what I'm saying? Me listen to him, see what he got going on. Mm -hmm. I was just tapping into everybody. That's one thing about me. I don't I don't if your shit hot, I'm going to bang your shit. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm going to fuck with your shit. Word up. Okay. So, you know, as you transition, you know, back into everyday life, what do you feel like has been, like, the biggest hurdle for you as an artist who's just coming home? Trying to separate myself from the streets. Mm -hmm. It's real hard, man, because, like, I be having tunnel vision to this bag, but then at the same time, niggas be playing with me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I be like, boy, you know how I get. Just let me just do me, man, because you don't want these problems. You know you don't. Mm -hmm. You know you don't. But niggas be doing shit for the gram, man. I feel like if you run to the gram with some smoke, you don't really want no smoke. Because I, I ain't going to never run to the gram with no smoke. Mm -hmm. If it's on, it's gone. It's on. It's on. It ain't going to never. You Look at me. You never going to see if anything you hear about LBL is going to be no Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like, I bet. You know, I watch you post. You can post. I'm coming though. You feel me? You I mean, because it's only but so much you could do from behind the screen. But niggas so, do all this Instagram shit, though. I, yeah. That's what they do. That's the wave. Hey, fuck you, nigga. What you fuck? All right. It, you, mean, you could say that to somebody and say the words to me. You all got to go to Instagram. Right. So, yeah. and, so in those times, like, what keeps you, like, you know, what keeps you separated from the street? What is it that you have to, like, tell yourself, if anything? Or what keeps you motivated to keep yourself out? Oh, it, I, it's easy. It's back. easy. This, this, I just know that it's bigger than me. Mm-hmm. It ain't just about me no more. Right. For me, I'll be selfish to go back to the streets mm -hmm. because I'm like so many people just just living off me right now. Like my moms don't work no more. All my kids are spoiled as shit. <laughs> you feel me? Like you know what I mean, I ain't on child support because my baby mothers know what's up. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like like so. What keeps me away from the streets is the fact that I'm smart enough to know that. I'm 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 the bag. Right. I'm the bag now. Before I was just like, man, fuck it. Why he said what? We going. Mm -hmm. Ain't need nothing to talk about. We going. But now mm -hmm. you gotta be smart enough to know that, like, yo, if if, I, if if you take if you take this piece off the board, the whole the whole fucking board gonna fall apart. Mm -hmm. Nah, I can't do that no more. I can't. It ain't worth it. Right. And I mean, greatness is is definitely on its way because, like yeah. we said. Tape dropping literally yeah. in hours, in and you got hours. you got yeah. Mozzie on there, you got Rowdy on there. Like it's really, I feel like about to be just a movie. I Real quick, like if you had to describe the album in three words, how would you describe it? Really, shit ever. Oh, period. What are you talking about? <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, that part, man. Uh huh. Really, shit ever. Everything I dropped. Villain shit ever. How did you get Mozzie and Rowdy on there? Niggas fucking with a gangster. Period. You know what's up, man. Uh -huh. It's that simple. Real recognized real in any category. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm niggas fucking with me. I'm fucking with them. And it's like that. It's like that. It's going to stay like that. We going up from here. Okay. You got visuals. I know Thotty got a visual. Yeah, I got I got a visual dropping at 12 o'clock tonight. <laughs> oh, King Cobra. You? you feel me? I got another one dropping next week. We dropping a week. Okay. We okay. Leave, so put, you got this shit lined yeah, up. Your yeah. team is working. Yeah. I, when I went to Rolling Loud, I saw your signs literally everywhere. You got a big ass billboard. Like yeah. everybody, everything yeah. is doing what it needs to do. Exactly. So love that for you. Thank you. Um, so like, let's just like to end this off you i'll be the gladiator yes yes let us know what a gladiator is what what does that mean to you it means everything to me a gladiator is just a metaphor of life you feel me it means mm -hmm. like you fighting to the death on whatever you up against mm -hmm. you feel me you gonna die for your shit mm -hmm. like whether it's success whether it's like anything like and and the metaphor another metaphor that i like to use is the fact that gladiator is a blood sport you feel me mm -hmm. and the shit that I talk about is so graphic, but they love it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like you, 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 you honor me. You, you, you check like you, you reward me for my pain, for my struggle. Mm -hmm. So you see me putting this work in and all this other shit. 
you 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 give me my flowers for that shit. You know when the right. gladiator wins, they be throwing the flowers and mm-hmm, shit. Mm-hmm. So that's what I mean. And you know what? I think it's so interesting about stuff like that because mm-hmm. it's really up to interpretation. Like for me, I hear I'll be the gladiator. I know like gladiators, they're generally like slaves, mm-hmm. given weapons Pay- to exactly. perform and entertain a crowd. I feel like for you, you're not a slave, but you were kind of, you know, in yeah, the system for exactly. a little while. You grew up in the trenches exactly. and you weren't given a weapon, you were given a mic. Uh-huh. And now you're entertaining the people. So I feel like there's just so many ways that you can interpret, that's interpret why that's, that. And, and what you're saying is what I always say. You feel me? Oh, is see, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't just wanted to shorten it. You feel me? But like, that's exactly how I feel. It's like, mm-hmm. like, the way I perform, the way the fuck I've been, the shit I've been through, and it's like, mm-hmm. that's what that's what it turns out to. So, what can we look forward to? We know we got the project. What else is coming, I'll be Al? What All pressure, we- man. You know, we got tours lined up. We about to start doing a lot of things. You feel me? So, you know what I mean? Um, I got my documentary about to come out. We working on that. About to oh, finish that you. up. Okay. Um, I got movie offers. People hit me up for movies and all that I'll shit. I'll be out of action. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta okay. play. I gotta play a gangster. That's the okay, only role okay. I gotta play. You feel me? Uh-huh. I don't know. You feel me? I can't play nothing else. Go okay. shit, Love shit that. like that. You hear me? But um, what else we got going on? Me you know my merch going crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, all that shit, but like it's just all pressure with this music shit. Like I'm here to take this shit. I'm here to take this shit. I'm about to be one of them niggas. Y'all you know I mean like I, I could have been embraced this shit, but now I'm really about to show y'all. Like. I'm here to stay. You feel me? Period. And is there anything else that you want to talk about, touch on, set the record straight on before we... Well, before we close out... Ooh. Yeah, holla at my style. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. We got a cake to congratulate. Yeah. Happy birthday to me. (laughs) Happy birthday, (laughs) homie. Ah, Yeah. So, it's actually two. So, I'll be out. You know, your album's dropping at 12. Yeah. But also, Bree, she's been working with us for one year, so you're her one year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that part. Yes, yeah. this, it has been a year, literally. Yeah, that's wow. What's up. So we, yeah. we're celebrating. We got our Henny. Congratulations. Cheers to us. Congratulations. Period. Uh huh. Wow, thank y'all. That was so nice. It's so thoughtful. <laughs> that's fire right there. That's y'all love. about to make a real bitch call on camera. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Well, thank you for coming. Well, it's so good me. to have you here. Welcome home. Yeah. Can't wait to see the, I mean, the feedback that you get from this tape. I know it's going to be lit. Man, I can't Shout wait. Shout out your socials so that everybody can know where to find you. Um, I'll be out 201. A-L-B-E-E-A-L 201. Fuck with me. You know what's up. I'm inspirational, bitch. Follow the gangsters. You feel me? Period.